what is up what is up what is up what is up kingdom builders y'all we are in the building with a super fresh word okay this thing is fresh hot off the dog on press and um you know it's kind of different from the typical word that we release um but it's going to be good i pray that you all stay to the end in fact i want to pray for each person who comes in to watch this video that you are a not just a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word of God, that the word would fall on good soil and that it would not fall by the wayside and that you would be obedient to everything that you hear in this video today in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, so y'all, let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Because this one is not like one of those pretty words, okay? But it's the word of the Lord. And the Lord said that there is um, coming a swift rising and falling. Judgment is coming. Um, judgment is coming to the house of the Lord, okay? Judgment is coming. In fact, the Lord said judgment is here, okay? We're beginning to see an unfolding of the judgment of the Lord. And um, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm just going to read the word that the Lord gave me. So he said, there is coming a sword to the church. This war will cause a great division, separating the wheat from the tares, the sheep from the wolves. Prepare for a great shift a swift rising and falling. For I did not come to bring peace, but rather division. And that is from Matthew 10, 34 through 36 and um, 13, 24 through 30. And he said, there are days where I tolerate, um, the days where I tolerate thieves and robbers in my house are gone. My, um, okay, so he said, gone are days where I tolerate thieves and, thieves and robbers in my house. My hospital for the sick and needy lies in ruins as crooks have infiltrated my body. Okay, um, I am raising up those who will go forth preparing the way in the wilderness. And that is like in reference to John the Baptist. We know that John the Baptist went out and prepared the way for those. Um, he prepared the way for Jesus and his message was repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And so the Lord is raising up those who will go in that same spirit in boldness and in confidence, preparing the way for the Lord and declaring the word. Um, and so he said, um, he's raising up the nobodies and he said, quote unquote, the nobodies, the no names. The righteous shall reply, um, raise, the righteous shall rise to replace the wicked. I am the Lord and I have spoken judgment. So I am setting asunder and asunder for those of you who do not know is like a division. Okay. I am setting asunder. I am seeing the church crash to the ground. So at this point in time, when the Lord is telling me this, I am beginning to see the church okay physical church buildings begin to crash to the ground they're crashing and burning and as they are crashing there are people inside okay there are people inside of the church as these churches are falling um and crumbling to, to rubble crashing and burning and i'm like okay lord what you know before i can even ask this question um the lord says swift judgment Prepare yourself, um, he said, swift judgment, swift judgment, swift judgment. And he said that three times, okay? So anytime the Lord rep um, repeats something three times, you know you better pay attention to it because it is sure to happen. Um, and he says that um, just as the, cr the church crashed with many people inside, so shall it be for my children. They who hear my warning yet choose the world over me filling the pews and listening to corruption with itching ears. Where are the elders and where are the righteous? They are coming forward to rebuild. As the walls fell before Nehemiah, so shall the church fall to be rebuilt. So the Lord is saying first, the first thing that's gonna happen is the church is going to fall. The falling is going to make way for the rebuilding because at the point where we are, um, you know, and I wanna back up a little bit as the Lord was talking about um, his people filling the pews, okay? The church crashing with people inside. The reason for this being, the Lord has been warning and warning and warning many, okay? He has been warning many, but yet we're filling these churches, uh, filling the pews of these churches with preachers and teachers, you know, having itching ears. They're not even declaring the word of the Lord. The Lord is saying, where even are the elders? Okay. Where are the righteous? Because you fill these pews and you listen to these ministers who you know are not declaring the word of the Lord, who you know are operating in witchcraft, who you know are leading the people astray. And you sit there just being silent. 
desiring to hear a message, desiring to hear a prophecy, desiring to re receive an impartation, but not desiring the word of the Lord, the unadulterated word of God. And the Lord is saying for you, because judgment, and I released the word a couple of months ago, judgment is coming. Flee while you can, judgment is coming. But the Lord said, okay, that because you feel these pews and you know that what's going on is wrong, you're gonna be in the house when it falls, okay? You're gonna come to your demise when it falls. And the Lord began to minister to me last night. Um, he said, you know, he was talking to the church at, uh, I think it's called Theateria or uh, anyways. Um, he said, I have this against you because you tolerate that woman, Jezebel in your church and who calls herself a prophetess, okay? And we tolerate these people who call themselves prophets or call themselves preachers. And they're really um, operating in a Jezebelic spirit to control the church, to manipulate the church, okay? To, um, to dominate the church and to lead the people astray, to lead the people into sexual immorality. Now y'all, um, I watched, I've been watching a couple of videos lately of people, and I'm not going to mention any names, but of people, like I heard one minister say, um, you know, that we need a different type of gospel for those who are, um, who are not virgins, basically. And we try to tell grown people not to have sex, but that's not going to work for somebody who done already had sex before and their, their biological clock is ticking against them. Like, sir, are you not a minister of the gospel? He said, for those people, we need a different type of judgment. The judgment of the Lord is coming to the house of God. I heard another um, a very popular man of God say, you know, that the Lord, um, nowhere in scripture does it explicitly say that sex before marriage is a sin, but it's all over scripture. And these people are, oh, teach us, Papa, teach us. He's lying. And people are listening with itching ears, although you for yourself know. But for the name of quote unquote revelation, you'll follow a person, a man or a woman of God who comes and has a platform. And you know that it's wrong, but you hope that it's right so that you can go off and do wickedness. And I'm telling you, the Lord is saying, because you know right. And because I have been warning you, because I have been telling you what to do, but you won't heed. When that house falls, you're going to be in it. When that house falls, you're going to be in it because the same judgment is going to come up on you. Let me go ahead and get back to this word, y'all. I know it's a stiff word, but you better heed the word of the Lord while you can. I know it's not pretty, but you better heed the word of the Lord while you can. Um, so he said there are going to be those who are coming forward to rebuild the church just as the walls had to fall, y'all. Walls had to fall before Nehemiah could come and rebuild because, I mean, what could he rebuild if there was no purpose? The walls came crumbling down and the Lord is saying the church is coming crumbling down, but he is going to send forth those who are going to rebuild the church, who are going to rebuild the walls, who are going to rebuild according to his plan, who are going to rebuild in holiness and in righteousness because we have gotten to a point with the church where the Lord is like, it's unrepairable. It needs to come down in order order to come back up again. And so these are going to be the ones who are walking in the spirit of John the Baptist and walking in a spirit of reformation. Okay. And reformation is not pleasant. Okay. Reformation is not pleasant because it challenges people's mindsets. It challenges the ideologies. Okay. And on top of that, it challenges people's traditions. So for those who operate in a spirit of um, reformation, there is going to be said against you that you are walking in rebellion, but do not listen, okay? Do not listen. I'm gonna go ahead and continue um, with the, the word of the Lord. Um, and he said, so um, prepare for reformation and reconstruction. This is my word. Persecution, persecution, persecution for those chosen to rebuild. And that's what I was just saying. Persecution, um, repeated three times for those chosen to rebuild. But I have set your heads as flint. You have my protection. They shall only speak but they shall not harm. I am the Lord, your God. And so that the Lord is saying for those who are, have been chosen to rebuild this church, 
There's going to be persecution. You will face many times that rise up against you and con to condemn you. But the Lord is saying, don't worry about that because they're not going to touch you. There's going to be a time where the Lord is not going to allow anyone to touch you, but they shall only speak against you. They won't be able to come near your dwelling for the Lord is your portion. Okay. The Lord is your portion. He is your protector. He's saying he's going to cover you and shroud you with the hedge of protection as you go forth declaring the word of the Lord and rebuilding what is coming down. Okay. Um, so he says their ears hate truth. Many have said in their hearts, we have heard this for too long. Um, and you know, y'all, we all know that we have, many of us have heard that, okay? Judgment coming to the house of the Lord, judgment coming, there's judgment coming to America. And there's been people who have been ministering this word for I don't know how long. And the Lord is saying right now where people are, they've said in their hearts, we've heard this for too long and nothing has happened. So they don't believe it. They're just living their good old lives, okay? Um, living in wickedness, even for those in the, um, in the body of Christ. And the Lord said, I wish that you would be either hot or cold. But because you are lukewarm, I am going to spew thee out of my mouth. And that is the place where we are at. Because you are lukewarm, because you tolerate that woman Jezebel, and Jezebel is not even a woman, y'all. It's not just a woman. We're talking about a spirit, okay? Men and women operate in this spirit. Um, th those people who you see who are um, teaching false doctrine, okay? Those people who you see who are... Um, who are operating in manipulation that manipulation is witchcraft those people who you see who are leading his sheep astray these are those who are operating in a spirit of jezebel and so he said um many have said in their hearts that we have heard this for too long i have been long suffering but the cries of the innocent and the needy have risen before me as incense and the deeds of the wicked are a great stench to my nostrils. Prepare for the plucking and rooting. And at this point, when the Lord told me plucking and rooting, I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute, Lord. Are you saying plucking and uprooting? But he said, no, plucking and rooting. Prepare for a plucking and rooting. The wicked shall fall and the righteous shall be planted, okay? The wicked shall fall and the righteous shall be planted. Um, I'm going to continue. This is the reason for the great wealth transfer. The righteous need provision for survival, but they shall not just survive. They shall thrive. Look, um, as the wicked are falling off. Okay. And I know I've heard, you know, some people, I don't watch the news. I haven't watched it in years. Um, but I hear, you know, my mom and my papa who always watches the news and they're talking about, you know, Donald Trump and so many people who are um, being exposed and they're coming down. There's going to be more and more and more exposure. And as the wicked fall, okay, as the wicked begin to fall, the Lord is also replacing them with the righteous. So it's time to repair, prepare yourself. It is time to get in position with the Lord. It is time to seek his face and understand what is the will of the Lord over your life. It is time for you to prepare so that you can hear the instructions of the Lord because when those wicked fall also is coming with them their wealth okay the Lord says the, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous and as you see this tumbling down of structures and systems okay even governmental systems the Lord is transferring that wealth unto his body but he's transferring it to, to people so that they can enlarge the kingdom of God so that you can go your hands can be as funnels okay as funnels so that you can go and feed the needy so that you can be there with provision for those who are already serving the lord and for once the mighty revival comes forth so that you can be there to um actually fund the ministries uh, that are rising up when it comes to revival and when it comes to um the transfer okay um when it comes to you know um there, there are going to be many people who are in need. I'm trying to listen to the Lord at the same time. There are going to be many people who are in need. Those who, um, 
have not received such a massive transference of wealth because this wealth transfer, y'all, is not going to happen to all of the body. It's going to be many people who the Lord has hand selected, who he can trust to um, transfer large amounts, large sums of money to. That is going to go into their hands. And for those who are in need, you're going to, dis the funds are going to be dissipated through you, okay? They're going to be transferred from your hands to others. Your hands are, the Lord is going to use your hands as funnels. And this is the reason for the wealth transfer, okay? And so the Lord is saying that his children are not just going to survive, that we are going to thrive. We are going to thrive. So the Lord said, warn my children and shout it from the rooftop if you must. Many are being seated and not off the throne. Many are being seated and not off the throne. So that's those who are being seated in position, okay? As those who are being knocked off of their throne, okay? Those who thought that nothing would happen to them, that they could stay in the same state where they were. Those people, as they are knocked off their throne, there's going to have to be a great seating that has happened um, for those to be positioned to receive and for those to reign. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For those who are going to reign in those positions in a godly manner. And so there are many who the Lord seated in the past and for various reasons, okay? And number one reason, because pride crept up in their heart. The Lord is saying, once you were worthy, but you are no longer worthy. I am knocking you off of your throne and I am seating some of my children um, in your position where you once sat. And so the Lord is specifically saying for you to prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves in your heart, prepare yourselves in your mind, get right with the Lord and prepare yourselves in the word because there are many the Lord has been speaking to you about about um, him seating you and about the position where he is taking you, but you don't feel like you're worthy or you don't feel as though you're qualified. And the Lord is saying he has qualified you. He has given you what he says that you have. You have enough, but he's needing you to get back into the place of prayer. He's needing you to get back into the word. He's needing you to remove every distraction from your path, okay? Because the Lord is going to minister to you in the secret place, the things that you need for the next season. The mighty wealth transfer is here, says the Lord. It has already begun. And there's a portion who belong to many of you, okay? That belongs to many of you. And this is the word of the Lord, okay? And so for those of you who are hearing this word and you know, that you have been seated in a place, okay? You have been sitting in a filling pews in a ministry where the Lord does not approve of, okay? They are not ministering the unadulterated word of God, that there is being witchcraft. The pastor and the preachers, they're operating in witchcraft, sleeping with the secretaries and, and sleeping around, teaching and leading the people astray. The Lord is saying, it's time for you to um, get your exit strategy. You need to get on up out of there because if you're still in the house, if you are still in that house, when it falls, you're coming to your demise also. And that is the word of the Lord. And for those of you who you know, you have been operating outside of the will of the Lord, make your way back, okay? Because the Lord, your God is a gracious God. God. He is a gracious God. He is long suffering and he desires that you repent before you die. But if you choose to continue to go astray, just know that um, suffering is going to be your portion. Okay. It is going to be your portion. So repent while you can and get back and right standing. Because if you do it now, the Lord will sanctify you and he will raise you back up. The Lord will sanctify you and he will raise you back up, okay? And so anyways, y'all, I know this wasn't a pleasant word, but it is the word of the Lord. I pray that you heed his voice, that you listen to everything that God has ministered to you today, that you replay this message. And if you know anyone who is needing the word, who is needing this message, y'all share the word. The Lord says, shout it out to the rooftops that my children may hear, okay? So that everyone has an opportunity. I know the Lord ministers in different ways, but you want everyone to have an opportunity to repent while they can, okay? And to also receive their portion of the wealth transfer. Now, y'all, this was the word of the Lord. I hope that it has richly blessed y'all. And that is all I have for today. So until next time, be blessed.